Hi everyone, so this is the fourth lesson, I think, um, for binomial. Um, so if we back on full screen for a second. Hopefully I've shown you how to use the calculator, how to work out binomials with a calculator, because it's dead easy. So let's have a look at this question then. So it says in college, 40% of students study maths. So that's your success. And 10 students are chosen at random, so that's your N. So well, x to the number of students who study maths, so I've defined it, and there's my distribution. The x follows a binomial with the parameters that n is 10 and p is 0 0.4. So a, or the probability that x is equal to 4. Right, so let me get the calculator up then. There, okay. Uh, so if I do menu and 2, so I'll just write menu 2 here. It's disappeared, my calculator. Awesome. And then F5 for distribution. F5 for distribution. And F5 for binomial. Binom. F5 for binom. Right. Now, because it's equal to, hang on, because it's equal to, I do BPD. So F1 for BPD. So F1, B, P, D. So that's if it's equal to it. So I want it equal to 4, don't I? So B, P, D. Right then. So my num trials is 10. P value is 0.4. Uh, I need it. I need to change. Hang on. I need to change data. It's a variable there. Because if you put your calculator in exam mode, it's quite good actually that that's happened. It can switch that, so you need to switch it back to variable. And then x is 4 there. Once you've done it, it's done. So it's 0 0.2, no idea, it disappeared. It never used to disappear. 508 there. So BPD is if it's equal to. Right, so the next one is at least one student. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with the BCD. Hang on, calculator's going to disappear, which will be very annoying. So I press this exit, if that works, and press exit again. So I have to do F5 for distribution, F5 for binomial, and BCD. So BCD, which is F2. It's for well, great, like, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And I just set the limits on it, the edges, because it's between 0 and 10. So I wanted greater than or equal to 1. So my lower is 1, my upper is 10, and my num trials is 10, and my p is 0 0.4. So it's kind of worth writing that down at the side, but it's not a lot of room to write it down. So it starts at 1, ends at 10, with no trial 10. That's 0 0.9941. So I do with that one, lower, 1, upper 10. C says 8 or more, so x is greater than or equal to 8. So lower, 8, upper 10. So lower 8, upper 10. No, point no, 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2. There. Is that 1, 2, 2? Or 1, 2? Yeah. Ooh, it would be 1, 2, 3 actually, wouldn't it? Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> right, and we're out of time. We're only five minute videos. I should have mentioned that at first. So if it's equal to BPD. If it's greater than or less than, then CD. Um, right, I'm going to stop the vid to do the assumptions.